Flappin' from Cheese TV. So if anyone remembers Cheese TV, well, you should, otherwise you didn't have a childhood or you're a ruin. No. Right on. <laughs> tormented, cheese tormented cheese childhood cheese. like myself. Look, he might be a bit harsh, but he speaks the truth. Anyway, go on. Yeah, I think we actually have him on the show. We might actually, we'll have, I think we have him on right now. Ryan, are you there, mate? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, very good. <laughs> we can hear you too, mate. Yeah, Ryan, how are you going, mate? I'm good. I'm trying to anticipate all of your questions so that I can answer quickly because there's a delay, you see? Yeah, um, we see the delay. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, if if, you, if you're going for the questions earlier, what, how about you prepare an answer for us, and we'll ask you the question afterwards. So let's what, see if you can do that. So what's your answer, Ryan? I forget what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> very funny, mate. Very funny. Anyway, look. Um, in all seriousness, how are you going? What's been happening? Yeah, everything's uh, gone really, really well. Uh, um, we're going to this festival in Brisbane. Uh, on Saturday, it's the Ideas Festival, and Jade and I are going there to do like a um, like an appearance sort of thing. So it's the first time we've been, you know, together in a long time officially. You know. Yeah. So you've pretty much got a like you know a generation of kids behind you, fellas. I mean, Cheese TV probably one of the biggest shows to exist for you know our generation. So being what like the 16 to 25, 26. What's the oldest fan you've had? Probably some 40 year old. <laughs> Uh, we, we actually went to the Easter show once and there were these uh, old, weird kind of people who came up in cowboy hats so that were really, really strange. And they wanted our autograph and apparently they, uh, you know, they were like, God, I don't know, maybe about 70 years old. 70 year old. Oh, wow. And uh, they lived, yeah, and they lived next to a train station so they couldn't hear properly or anything like that. Oh, they, were, yeah. they were really, really lovely and uh, they had posters of up and stuff like that, so you know there was a lot of people that were kind of uh, interested, you know, which is um, interesting. Yeah. Oh, look. In all honesty, I mean, if someone's that old and watches t- Cheese TV, they're probably just getting ready for lunch, you know. Yeah. So uh, speaking of anyway. Cheese TV, do you, I don't know what that was from Ed there. But, uh, do you, do well, come on. Pe- old, no, no, old people have their lunch have their lunches really early, don't they? And it, they have early dinners as well. So, come on. They actually have breakfast at nine meds and then have lunch at twelve and. Dinner at six. Oh, I don't. I don't think it's. Si- I don't think dinner's that late. But anyway, um, look. How did it feel uh, being part of something so immense like Cheese TV? Did you get a lot of people noticing you on the streets and saying, "Oh, look, that's Ryan from Cheese TV." Actually, yeah, um, a lot of that happened, but it wasn't. I don't know. It was just strange for me. It wasn't anything. I didn't think that there was any glory in it, you know. And I. I wasn't arrogant enough to assume that everyone knew who I was because a lot of people didn't, and I wasn't going to kind of go around going, hey, you know, because I, um, I don't <laughs> like that anyway. I prefer kind of be real and just have real conversations with people that isn't based on what show I'm on or something like that. To us, it was just a job that we had a really good time with, you know. It wasn't, uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, it wasn't like Tom Cruise or anything like that, and I, I've never really believed in stardom and all of that stuff anyway because I think it's very fake. Having said that um, I think that in retrospect the reason that Jade and I would have had any appeal at all is because we were very we took the piss out of everything and we were really kind of, we were actually friends, you know, yeah. and, and so what you were watching was 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 quite real yeah. and I think that, you know, we didn't put it on we weren't all smiley and playing the game all of the time, like you see a lot of yeah. people on TV now and they're all very quick. I prefer me. Some of them are a little smug and they're playing the game where we just kind of went on and took the total piss out of everything, you know, and we really enjoyed it. Yeah. Are you still getting recognized on the streets? Surely not. Sometimes. It's been a while. Um, not as much as, uh, as I used to. And, and to be honest with you, um, I kind of enjoy that because now I'm like, uh, um, I'm like a normal sort of person. I mean, I remember you going to the pub a lot. Uh, and I would just, I would just sort of get mobbed while I was walking around, you know, and, and I would talk to as many people as I could, and then I would go to the bar because I want to get a drink or something like that, and you know, another person would come and say, "Hey, how you doing?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, good, dude." And then I would sort of walk off, and then they'd get offended because I didn't give them as much time as I did with the others. So it, it's, it can be a strange trap sometimes, you know, because you know, um, mm-hmm. not everyone's going to be really, really nice. You yeah. see, so, you know, where you think, oh, it must be great to be famous and all of that sort of stuff, which we sort of were, it wasn't anything, you know, there's there's always drawbacks to it as well, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I've been, I've been there before. 
Um, so how did you um, how did you first land the gig at Cheese TV? Uh, basically, I first of all saw the ad in a paper because I was about fourteen. Right? A Cheese TV and host was chosen by. He actually found it. An ad in the paper. Wowee. <laughs> Go on. It started like that, and then my agent called me and said, "There's this job going for a, a kids TV show that's hosted by kids, right?" So Jade and I already knew each other because we lived in the same area. We actually went to the same school, except he was a bit older than me, right? So we kind of hooked up. And when it was our time to go in, I sort of said to him, hey, listen, you go out and say, hi, I'm Jade. I'll say, hi, I'm Ryan. And you're watching Cheese TV. So we worked together where all of the other guys were sort of trying to get attention all the time. Yeah. Look at me, look at me, you know, that sort of thing. But Jade and I sort of just arranged this little bit we went out and worked together, and they liked that. And Jade had the uh, the in the end because they liked Jade. I was very underdeveloped at the time. I was still just a, very much of a kid where Jade was a bit more mature. So they asked him, who would you prefer to work with? And he said me. So we ended up doing it together, and that was history. Yeah, fair enough. What was your favorite show on Cheese TV, just out of interest? Um, favorite show... Well, I didn't really watch a lot of the cartoons. I think I, I liked X Men. I liked that sort of stuff, or you know, Techno Man. But they, they we re, we re ran that like three, four times. So whenever we, we're, whenever we do that, we take the piss out of it and just say, now here's a classic Techno Man, as if you know, yeah, it repeats, but take it, you know. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, obviously, you're one of the legends behind Cheese TV, and Cheese TV, um, as we know, is no longer. Uh, what have you been up to since then? Well, I went overseas for a little bit because I wanted to see what life was like without a thing. You know, uh, you know, I'd grown up doing it and I'd grown up with Jade and my life didn't happen in a linear fashion. You know, usually you do other jobs or whatever and then you slowly go up. You work your way up to something better and better, you see. For Jade and I, it was different. We just kind of suddenly had this thing that sort of changed our lives and it, it's it sort of happened so quickly that um we didn't have a chance to sort of know what was going on we just kind of swept up in it and then suddenly it was it was kind of over when we never suspected it would be you know like we thought that they would always need hosts and stuff like that and there's all these controversies out saying oh it was this and it was that but really it was a it was a lot of things um you know um and uh so yeah i went overseas and I came back, and since then I've done a few ads and stuff like that. And um, Dare Ice Coffee. I think, you know, a lot of people want Jade and I to get together again. And, you know, I think it's really nice of them. And, you know, if the, if the chance comes up, you see, I don't want to be on TV unless we've got something really, really good to do. I don't want to go on and, and just sort of play the game and do that sort of thing. I'd prefer to kind of, you know, work on something where we could both, really do something that's worthwhile. Mm, something stimulating. Yeah. Yeah, th- thanks to Heath for joining us, Ryan. We're actually, um, you know, uh, running out of time. So, yeah, th- we, we we're really appreciate We're just about to wrap it up it. now. So, yeah, thanks for being on the show. Uh, no worries. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks for being on the show, Ryan. And, uh, yeah, um, we'll, we'll keep in touch soon. Any time, buddy. And uh, sorry about this little delay thing. It's messing everything up. But uh, thanks, everyone. And, um, yeah, I'll see you around. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, and that-